Okay, praise the Lord. I just made a video a few minutes ago called God the Son or the Son of God. And now I want to make a short video called God the Holy Spirit. Who is God the Holy Spirit? God the Holy Spirit is nobody. God the Holy Spirit is a made-up deity that was made up by the Roman Catholic religion, uh, which is also celebrated by the Protestants because Protestants are not Christians. Protestants are rebellious Catholics. Protestants are people who protest against the doctrines and practices of the Roman Catholic Church. Okay, Christians do not protest the doctrines of the Roman Catholic Church. We simply just have nothing to do with them. Okay, we are not Protestants. We are Christians. We're disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit, or the Holy Ghost, and Spirit and Ghost are two words that mean the same thing, and the Bible uses both of those words to talk about the Spirit of God. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of God. Let me read to you a couple verses of scripture that will describe to you who the Holy Ghost is. If we go to Matthew chapter 10, verse 20, Jesus said, For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Okay, well, there's not two or three or four different spirits. There's only one Spirit, and the Lord is that Spirit, the Bible says. So the Holy Ghost is the Spirit of your Father if you're a Christian. Okay. Spirit of your Father. The Holy Ghost is God the Father. Let's go to Luke chapter 1. And many people stumble on this. Luke 135. And it's perfectly simple. Now this is when uh, the angel was talking to Mary. When he was telling her that she was going to bear a child. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. <clears throat> okay. Well, what is the Son of God? It's the Son of God. Okay. What if I was to bear a son and that son was to be called the Son of Clinton? What does that mean, the Son of Clinton? It means he's the Son of Clinton. He's a male child that was born um, to Clinton and his wife. Okay. Um, the Son of God is a male child that was born to God the Father. And his wife, Israel. Okay, he chose a, a virgin of his wife, his bride, Israel, and he caused her to become pregnant. Okay, not the same way that a man would, but God overshadowed her. How did he overshadow her? The angel said, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Who is the Holy Ghost? God the Father. How, how can you reject that? How can you not understand that? The, therefore, also, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Well, if this child is going to be called the Son of God, then obviously his father is God. And who is his father? The Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ was baptized in the Jordan River, was he not? And when he was, he was anointed with the Holy Ghost in power. And then he went around telling people, My Father is in me. Do not, don't you believe that I am in my Father and the Father in me? The Father in me, the Holy Ghost was in him. The Holy Ghost is God, the Father. Okay, there is one Lord and one Spirit, and the Lord is that Spirit. This is what the Scripture says. So the Holy Ghost is not a third person of the Trinity, because there is no third person, and there is no Trinity in the Bible anywhere. And there's no God, the Holy Spirit. Okay, There's no God, the Holy Spirit in the Bible anywhere. I believe in the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit. He lives in me. His name is Jesus Christ. He's my God. Okay, I don't believe in God the Holy Spirit because there is no such God or no such person mentioned anywhere in the Scripture. And it's very important to make that distinction. The Holy Spirit of God is the Holy Spirit of God. It's written of Him in the Scripture. He's God, the Almighty God, who made the heavens and the earth. God the Holy Spirit is nobody. There's no mention of that God anywhere in the Scripture. God the Holy Spirit is a Roman deity that was injected into the Roman Catholic religion and, and trickled down into her Protestant denominations. The Holy, excuse me, God the Holy Ghost is nobody. God the Holy Spirit is nobody. There is no such thing. There is no third person of the Trinity. There is no such thing. There is one God. And there is one Lord, and the Lord is that Spirit. There is one Spirit. It's perfectly simple. God is a Spirit. God is a Spirit. God doesn't have a spirit separate from him that he talks to and they have conversations with one another. God is a spirit. 
John 4, 24. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And when God anoints you with his Holy Spirit, when you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you don't have the third person of a trinity inside of you. You have God the Father inside of you. What is his name? Jesus Christ. This is why Jesus stood before his disciples and said, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. What is the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost? There is one name. Not names. He didn't say baptizing them in the names of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. He said baptizing them in the name, singular, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Because Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are not names. They're titles. Different ways that God relates to different people. Just like you might be a father to somebody. If you have children, you're a father. If you have a brother or sister, then you're a brother. And if you're married, then you're a husband. Okay, So you're a father, you're a brother, you're a husband. None of those is your name. They're titles that refer to different ways, different roles that you have, different relationships to different people. But none of those is your name. And in the same way, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are not names. They are titles that refer to different ways that God had relationships with his people. But it's all one and the same God, and he only has one name. His name is Jesus Christ. And Peter, the chief apostle, said, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. The name of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1.19 tells us, that the name of the Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ. And of course, because God is a spirit and he came in the flesh and he laid down his life and took it up again and poured out his spirit unto us so that we could have his spirit in us so that he could walk in us and dwell in us and we would be his people and he would be his God. Excuse me. We would be his people and he would be our God. What is the name of our God? Jesus Christ. What is the name of the Holy Spirit that is in us if we're baptized with the Holy Ghost? Jesus Christ. Who is the Holy Ghost? It's God the Father. His name is Jesus Christ. There is no God the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit is a Catholic deity that doesn't exist. But the Holy Spirit of God is God the Father. That's the difference. Peace to you.